Hello then. Um, I'll explain you later on Pinned. Now, let's do this. Okay, let's start with Dolphin first. So, if we open the context menu of a file and then go to the compress item, we'll get two quick options, tar.gz or zip. Or we can open the compression widget. From there, we have many additional choices, like the LZ4. That's basically a lossless data compression algorithm that can compress and decompress our files super fast. And after we choose our archive format, for example, 7Z, we can then select the compression method, like BZIP2, and even select the compression level. Mm. Now in GNOME, ha ha ha. Again, we open the context menu of a file, we select Compress, and the compression widget opens already. Here, we have Zip, Encrypted Zip, Tar XZ, and 7Z. And that's everything we can do. Um, even if we are programmers? Yep. So, a developer named Lucas go on GitLab and says, GZIP compression is still widely used, and sometimes you want to share a file to be used on a system that doesn't have XZ available. It would be nice if Nautilus gave the option of quickly creating a tar.gz file. Lucas commits a patch that puts GZIP compression on files, but a bit later, Corey tells him that there's a desire not to just add more formats for the sake of adding, and shares a link. There, Andre, the maintainer of AutoR, the library that Nautilus and File Roller use for dealing with compression, says, It is not desired to blindly add new and new formats there. It is definitely not a benefit for a regular user to have more choices here, as it would be even more confusing to choose the right algorithms. This set of algorithms was carefully chosen by designers to fulfill as many needs and to be as portable as possible. Perhaps we should consider a change from tar xz to tar zsst instead of adding a new format. But this needs some analysis regarding portability, speed, size, etc. That comment was two years ago, which makes me wonder, will ZST come in GNOME first, or will a SpaceX drone land on Mars, huh? But anywho, Lucas doesn't lose hope and tries to explain the feature is actually useful. Thanks for the response and adding the additional context. My hope with this MR is not just to add features for features sake, but to make a workflow I encounter easier so that I don't need open file roller or the terminal just to create a tar gz file. My dear Lucas, I really want to back you up on it. I had my troubles too with GNOME's poor compression system, but I'm not completely sure if Plasma is making the workflow any easier with all these options. Are you?